again. Here we've got a, an expression to solve and then hence factorize into real factors. Okay, so what we've got is, is 1 plus z squared x plus z, 4 plus z plus 6 equals 0. So we can recognize this as a, a geometric um, progression where you go 1, where we had a, the first term is 1, r, the common ratio is z squared because you multiply by z squared to each one. And we have the sum to 1, 2, 3, 4 terms is equal to 0. And we're going to use that to find what z actually is. So the sum to 4 terms using geometry is a into 1 minus r to the 4 over 1 minus r. So in that case, in our case, this is 1. Don't bother writing that. 1 minus r is z squared. 4 all divided by 1 minus z squared and this lot equals 0. Okay, just taking this again and making it look a bit simpler, we end up with 1 minus z to the power 8 over 1 minus z squared equals 0. Now this is all good, but of course under, cannot divide by 0 here, so we must make it very clear that z squared cannot equal 1 because if z squared equals 1 we get 0 well, underneath and that's not defined so z squared does not equal 1 ok so we'll go ahead and do some solving now from the top line equal to 0 1 minus z therefore we have that z to the power 8 must equal 1 and writing this in the form r e the i theta, we have that this is equal to e to the i zero plus two m pi because we can do plenty of revolutions. So I'll just show you what's going on here. Here's a line, mm, mm, not a straight line at all. Here's the point one, and that is of course at zero degrees. And 2n pi just takes us round lots and lots of times, whichever way we want to go, where n is in the terms. So this is the positive and the negative integers and, and 0. So minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 4, and so on. Okay, let's us take the 8th root of that to find what z is. So z equals e to the i 2n pi, all divided by 8. Make it a bit simpler i n pi divided by 4. And now we'll just start listing all our solutions. So let's, let's go. n equals 0. We get z equal to e to the i 0, which equals 1. Unfortunately, z squared cannot be equal to 1, whereas 1 squared does equal 1. So this is not a solution. Let's try n equals 1. So z equals to e, put 1 in there, we get i pi by 4, and that should be okay. n equals 2, we get z equals e, 2 pi by 4 is pi by 2. 5 pi by 2, and pi by 2 is 90 degrees, well that's just i, because pi by 2 takes us up to here. N equals 3, and Z equals E to the I, 3 pi by 4, and that is what it is. N equals 4, Z equals E to the I pi, which is minus 1. And this also, because if you square it, you do get 1, so this also is not a solution. Let's take n the other way, and let's go the, in the negative direction. Negative 1, we get z equals e to the negative i pi by 2, it's just pi, excuse me, pi 4. n equals negative 2, you get z equals e to the negative i, 2 pi by 4, pi by 2, and that's negative i, and n equals negative 3, you get z equals Okay, 
there are all of our solutions. So let's just have a check for the question. Solve that and hence factorise. So the solving part, we can just write our solutions now. So we have the z equals, not the 1 1, we've got z equal to e to the i pi by 4. I could have written that as cos pi by 4 sine cos i sine by the 4, 1 on root 2 plus i on root 2. I just leave it like that. I don't think there's any need to do anything else. We've got i, we've got e to the i 3 pi by 4. Negative i pi by 4, we've got negative i 3 pi by 4, and negative i. So there are the six solutions that we get here. Um, if we just look where they are in our diagram, we've got pi by 4 will be here, i will be here, 3 pi by 4 is here, negative pi by 4 is here, negative i. So you can see they're just spinning a, a little lap around. Okay, I will stop there and then the I'll put a part 2 or something that will go on and, and factorise it into real factors in the next video.